How are you guys? Welcome back to Wargaming China. And today we're going to have a little chat about the Vickers Vic six ton tank in Chinese service. Now, the Vickers six tonner was first designed in 1928 and production started in 1929. The British Army took one look at it and decided we don't want to know anything about that suspension system. It looks dodgy. We don't want anything to do with this tank. Now, as David Fletcher of the Imperial War Museum would say, that would prove to be one of the most stupidest decisions the British Army ever made. Now, when this first tank, tank first rolled off, rolled onto the factory floor in 1929, as the Mark A had a twin turret with two machine guns, one machine gun on each turret. Now, this design was um, a good seller, and um, the Vickers 6 ton itself in varying models would be a very good, would be a good seller for Vickers, and they would end up in service in Soviet Union. The Soviet Union would buy some, Japan would buy some. China would obviously buy some, Portugal, Thailand, Greece, to name but a few, all were customers and bought this Vickers six ton tank. Now, the Mark A, when I first bought my tanks and started my Chinese army, you know, about just over 12 years ago or more, um, this is one of the first purchases I made. And um, if you look at that, it has the the KMT white sun on blue field logo because um, references you can still find references that will tell you that the twin turreted Taipei served in China. Um, no, it didn't. That's erroneous. So there again, you can learn from my mistakes. And yes, the Mark A never served in China. So what did serve in China was the Mark D which was uh, armed with a 47 millimeter gun and a machine gun and had 13 millimeters of armor. Now getting back to the first Vickers Mark A, uh, made in Newcastle upon Tyne, to the T26. Now the Russians liked the Vickers 6 tonner so much, they copied the design I went on to make um, over 1,200 of these uh, T26s, some of which were sent or sold back to China as aid in 1938. But that's another story. So that is how far the tank was developed and it, the T26 was still in combat against the German army in, in as late as ni early 1942. Okay, so let's go back to the Vickers 6 tonner. Now, when I first bought the, got these tanks, I looked at a lot of different camouflage patterns to make, to, to paint them. And to be honest, I couldn't decide on one. Because as I said, I have a habit of um, getting things wrong, as you saw with this Mark A. So um, I took my time with these and it took me nearly 10 years to decide on a paint job for them. Now the paint job is the 20 tanks the Vickers six tonner tanks that were bought by the Chinese served with the second tank company of the first armored battalion and they consisted of um, three platoons of five tanks each and one tank in a HQ and when the Chinese bought their 20 um, Vickers six tonners they bought the Mark D and they bought um, 16 without radios and four with radios. One, f one for each of the commander of the platoon and then one for the tank, the commander of the tank company. So, um, you know, for 1934, that was, um, there were many armies that still weren't considering putting radios in their um, tanks, I think, especially the Soviet Union in 1934. So um, the Chinese were a bit ahead of the game in that respect. Now then, we're gonna also, we've got to look at the the Vickers six tonner is the it's armed with a 47 millimeter gun. Now, 
a 47 millimeter gun is a strange you know we i'm talking to the war gamers here but perhaps to the military you know the armchair generals now 37 47 millimeter quick firing it's not as it's not a weapon that i was ever familiar that was ever in british service but vickers armed that tank with it so why is that well vickers had been in the armaments business a long time and it noted that in 18 in the 1890s the Hotchkiss three pounder quick firer was uh, was selling like hot cookies, and it was a gun mounted as a sold as an anti torpedo boat gun, an anti torpedo gun or anti torpedo boat gun, and served on everything from cruises to um, river gunboats to um, coastal command um, coastal coastal force vessels in multiple navies throughout the world so Vickers thought you know what the 47 millimeter is probably going to be um, a pretty good um, anti 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 tank projectile it's got a pretty it's already in service as luck you know we know that there's tens of thousands of shells out there that the customers bought along with their um, Hotchkiss quick firers so um, Vickers, Vickers took a punt on it and it seems to have worked out pretty well for them. They developed um, um, high explosive anti-tank round for the 47mm gun. They, they developed a um, smoke round for it and then they developed a um, solid shot anti-tank round for it. Um, but as well as, you know, other navies using this, um, this using the 47mm the three pound of quick fire and Hotchkiss could just use the ammunition they already had from them. So really, this is a naval rifle. You know, in, 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 in naval terms, it's a naval rifle. So um, it's, it's, it's not a, it, it, would be, it would have been a very effective anti-tank gun, um, as well as, you know, having a, enough explosives, explosive charge to be quite handy in the high explosive role. So, How did these tanks fare? Well, the um, Tiger Company was assigned along with the 87th, the, 80, the 88th, and the Tax Division for the uh, assault on Yangchipu Docks or Operation Iron Fist on between the 19th and the 22nd of August 1937 in Shanghai. And that is where all of these tanks met their demise in combat. Now, most of the most of the writing that I've read, look, I've never read of any tank to tank combat in Shanghai in the Battle of Shanghai. In fact, it's very rare in China. It does happen, but we'll get to that another time. Um, so, what have these been knocked out with? They've been knocked out with thirty-seven millimeter guns, according to the Japanese. Now, these could be the standard. Uh, 37 millimeter anti-tank gun in I think it was the type 96 at the time or it could be the old the uh, 37 millimeter sniper gun which is the type 11 infantry gun with a longer barrel um, but also there's um, as Peter Hampson says in his great book um, Shanghai Stalingrad on the Yangtze you know when these were these were forming up on the 22nd, they were hit by a concentrated naval bombardment, barrage, and um, that was the end of them. So, uh, a couple of them were shown, were captured by the Japanese, but yeah, they were all knocked out. They did not survive the, the Second Battle of Shanghai, and um, there was many reasons for that. I mean, a lot of the officers say, oh, they weren't given infantry support. Well, in it, it, to be honest, the Japanese tankers were complaining of the same thing in the Battle of Shanghai. Um, and other authors say uh, the Chinese um, army failed to seal the flanks as these tanks advanced. Well, again, that's about infantry support and it was a city fight. So, you know, bringing tanks into a city is never a good idea in the first place, let alone with infantry that have no idea that they're supposed to support the tanks. Because um, the Chinese lost a fair, the Japanese lost a fair amount of tanks in the, in the Second Battle of Shanghai too. So the tanks of Tiger Company um, ceased to exist after the Second Battle of Shanghai, but they certainly made their mark, and you cannot do the Operation Iron Fist without them. 
And indeed, that's what these are painted up for. So we'll talk about the camo scheme. Now, it took me years to decide on this camo scheme because um, there were a few different versions of it that, on, in pictures that I looked at. And I thought, you know what, I want to get this right. Because, you know, as I said with the other tank, I got that wrong. So this is where I would punt uh, the closest enough colors to the to Tiger Company. Uh, four colored black banded camo scheme. Very hard to do. It probably should be a little bit more angular. You know, more straight lines and, you know, more rigidy like, rather than less flowing. But um, it's the best I could do. I'm not a professional paint job, but I'll, I'll stand by the numbers. Perhaps, uh, by these colors, perhaps the gray should be a tad darker. So there we go. There's the Vickers Six Tanner in Chinese service. If you like that, press subscribe. If you like that, if you want to, you can press like, that'd be cool. Now, um, if you want me to keep this up, uh, let me know what you'd like to see next. I do have a lot of other tanks. And, um, you know, I, this is what I do here. This, so this is me playing the War of Resistance, Chinese, the War of Resistance against Japanese aggression from 1931 to 1945. Okay, thanks. See ya.